In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college football games happening on September 17, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. UTSA vs. Texas The Longhorns face off against Texas San Antonio on Saturday, September 17th. The Longhorns are coming off an instant classic loss to Alabama. In their last game, UTSA earned an overtime victory over Army in Week 2. The two teams play each other for the first time in history. The UTSA Roadrunners will look to build on their 41-38 overtime win over Army for their first win of the season in their second straight overtime game. Frank Harris has thrown for 696 yards, 6 touchdowns, and an interception on 68.2% passing while also leading the Roadrunners with 93 rushing yards as well this season. Season. Zachary Franklin leads UTSA's receiving group with 20 grabs for 222 yards and a pair of scores while Joshua Cephas has 218 receiving yards and DeCorian Clark has 160 receiving yards and a team-high three touchdowns as well this season. On defense, Jamal Ligon has a team-high 18 total tackles while Brandon Brown has a team-high 1.5 sacks this season. The Texas Longhorns will look to bounce back after a disappointing 20-19 loss to Alabama last timeout. Hudson Card has thrown for 182 yards on 66.7% passing while Vision Robinson leads Texas ground attack with 128 rushing yards and a pair of scores this season. Robinson also has 8 grabs for 113 receiving yards while Xavier Worthy has a team-high 121 receiving yards and Jordan Whittington has a team-high 10 catches. On defense, DeMarvian Overshone has a team-high 13 total tackles including 11 solo tackles while Darren Sorrell has 1.5 sacks on the year. UTSA is 10 to 1 against the spread in their last 11 games on turf and 13 to 4 against the spread in their last 17 road games while the over is 6 to 0 in their last 6 road games. Texas is 5 to 0 against the spread in their last 5 games against CUSA and 8 to 1 against the spread in their last 9 non-conference games while the under is 4 to 0 in their last 4 games overall. This game looks like a trap game for betters. When we look at the matchup, we see a little known conference USA team traveling to Austin where the mighty Crimson Tide struggled to survive just a week ago. Surely the Longhorns, coming off that momentum and experience, will pound the Roadrunners. Early bettors are suspicious, as this line has already moved down from where it opened at minus 13.5. Texas made a proud showing last week against Alabama. It would be hard to be more excited about a loss than Longhorn fans were last week when oddsmakers left them as three touchdown underdogs. Texas did a lot of good things, not the least of which was to bottle up and baffle the Tide's offense. Alabama looked lost until the final drive of the game. The game exacted a cost from the Longhorns though as starting QB Quinn Ewers was lost for a few weeks and several other key players left banged up. At the time of the making of this video, presumptive starting QB Hudson Card is day-to-day -day with an ankle injury that he gutted out last week. Star RB Bijan Robinson has not been practicing but tweeted that he plans to play and senior corner Deshaun Jamison also left the Alabama game with an ankle injury. Any of those would be tough losses for this Texas team. UTSA, for what it is worth, can play some serious football. They are the favorites to win Conference USA, and they have opened with hard-fought overtime games against Houston and Army, splitting the pair. Last week against a better-than-you-think Army team, super senior Frank Harris posted over 350 yards passing and three touchdowns. He has star receivers in Zachary Franklin and Joshua Cephas. Frank Franklin posted a 10-122-2 line against Army after a 100-yard effort against Houston, while Cephas has also posted back-to-back 100-yard -back outings to open the season. UTSA is not the kind of team that is likely to get blown out. The Longhorns do not want to walk away with another almost win, and they will be playing inspired football. But between the injuries Texas is dealing with and the general competence of the Roadrunners, UTSA can keep this one close. So the UTSA Roadrunners to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. 
This is a large number, befitting of two teams that like to play offense. Still, neither of these teams is exactly a wide open offense that plays overly fast, and both take care of the football. It is hard to eclipse this kind of number if teams are not scoring on a short field from time to time. Additionally, there is much uncertainty surrounding the Texas offense. Without starting QB Quinn Ewers, the Longhorns might try to lean on their larger offensive line and hopefully their star running back Bijan Robinson. The Longhorns are hopeful to have Hudson Card at QB, but they are doing the right thing by giving Card time this week to heal up before testing his ankle. Understandably, Coach Steve Sarkisian is being mum on the injuries and I would not expect to hear much before Saturday morning. Even if Card does go, one would still expect the Longhorns to keep him out of harm's way as much as possible with the Big 12 schedule set to start next week. UTSA should be able to move the ball through the air once again this week, but they still do not want to get into a track meet with all of those five-star Texas athletes. The Longhorns will try to slow down things against this UTSA team. The total has gone over in UTSA's last six games, and all six have produced more than 58 points in total. On the other side, the under is 7-1 in the Longhorns' last eight tilts and 4-1 in their previous five outings at home. Texas needs to control the clock and step up on the defensive end. With Hudson Card under center, the Longhorns will struggle to take full advantage of UTSA's secondary. As long as both teams protect the ball, as I expect they will, this might be a game with longer, run-heavy, sustained drives where teams have to march the length of the field to score. A couple of those drives ending in FGs should be enough to suppress the number. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Louisiana Tech vs. Clemson Conference USA stalwart Louisiana Tech will hit the road and head to South Carolina and head into Death Valley to take on the number 5 Clemson Tigers on Saturday night. The Bulldogs have split their first two games, losing on the road to Missouri before defeating Stephen F. Austin in their home opener last Saturday. Clemson comes into this matchup undefeated with two resounding wins to start the season, on the road over Georgia Tech and at home versus Furman. The Louisiana Tech Bulldogs will be out to build on their 52-17 win over Stephen F. Austin last time out. Parker McNeil's thrown for 339 yards, five touchdowns, and an interception on 52.9% passing while Marquis Crosby has 200 119 rushing yards and a pair of scores. Griffin Hebert leads the Bulldogs with 156 receiving yards while Tree Harris has 11 grabs for 128 receiving yards and Cyrus Allen has 121 receiving yards as well this season. On defense, Tyler Grubbs has 16 total tackles including a team-high nine solo tackles while Louisiana Tech's defensive unit has combined for three sacks and two interceptions this season. The Clemson Tigers will hope to build on a 35-12 win over Furman last time out. DJ Uligale has thrown for 441 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception on 67.8% passing while Will Shipley's rushed for a team-high 110 yards and four touchdowns. Bo Collins leads the Tigers with seven catches for 111 receiving yards as well this season. On defense, Trenton Simpson leads Clemson with 16 total tackles including 10 solo tackles while the Tigers' defense as a whole has four sacks and a pair of interceptions. Louisiana Tech is 0-4-1 against the spread in their last five road games and 2-6-1 against the spread in their last nine games overall, while the over is 6-0 in their last six games following a win. Clemson is 4-1 against the spread in their last five games overall and 2-7 against the spread in their last nine non-conference games, while the under is 22-6 in their last 28 games in September. There are a few more apt names in sports than Death Valley and Clemson. The Tigers have arguably the biggest home field advantage in college football. Heading into this matchup, they have won 35 straight at home and they are now 54-1 at home in the college football playoff era. Clemson has also won 25 straight games at home against non-conference teams. They haven't lost a home game to a non-conference foe since 2012 and are 35-3 at home versus non-conference teams in the Dabo Swinney era. The Clemson offense, which oftentimes looked disjointed last season, has been humming to start the season. Yui Aguilé looks much more comfortable in his second season as the team's starting quarterback and will now lead his potent attack against against a defense that gave up 52 points to Missouri. With all due respect to Missouri, they are a far cry from Clemson. The Bulldogs are giving up 5.4 yards per carry and now face a Clemson team that is averaging 133 yards per game. Swinney lamented the fact that he was unable to get in many reserves in the Furman game because of time of possession. He will not have those issues in this game. Last week against Furman, Clemson showed
showed little signs of being a top five football team as the defense was run over by the FCS school. On Saturday night, in front of a packed Memorial Stadium versus Louisiana Tech, I expect a different Clemson football team. Clemson will be able to run the ball through Shipley, who has scored two touchdowns in each of his first two games this year. Although they are coming off a win over FCS Stephen F. Austin, Louisiana Tech did not look sharp in their week one loss versus Mizzou. The Bulldogs gave up 323 yards on the ground. I get the case to be made for Louisiana Tech after getting in the win column last time out, but it's all well and good that you can beat an FCS team. But this is a Louisiana Tech team that was run over by Missouri and unfortunately for the Bulldogs, Clemson's Tigers are much better on both ends of the ball than the Tigers from Missouri and I just think this is another spot where Louisiana Tech's just overmatched. Expect Shipley to add to his team leading four rushing touchdowns in this game and for this one to get ugly early. It will be over early and the far superior talent on the Clemson side will get this outcome over 35 points in difference. Give me the Clemson Tigers laying the boatload of points here. Don't fear the line. So the Clemson Tigers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Louisiana Tech went up against Missouri in week one and still managed to put up 24 points. Clemson is much, much better than Missouri, especially defensively, but the Bulldogs have the capability to score on a power five defense. This is also the best defense the Tigers have competed with yet this campaign. Clemson won't break defensively, but they'll bend just enough. The yardage hasn't quite been there for this Tiger offense, but the points still have. They've amassed a total of 76 through two games and now will face a Bulldog defense that ranks 100. 24th in the FBS against the run. The over has hit at a robust rate for Louisiana Tech recently, going 14-4 in their last 18 games overall including 6 straight. The same cannot be said for this Clemson squad, but it has hit more often than not in their last 4 home games. Clemson is averaging 38 points per game through the first 2 games and yet it feels like we have yet to see the Tigers offense truly cut loose. With the Atlantic Coast Conference schedule looming next week, I think the Tigers will firing on all cylinders in this one. Don't be shocked if the Tigers Tigers get close to the game total themselves with a potent rushing attack going up against a defense giving up nearly five and a half yards per carry and with a quarterback that is looking more and more like he's figuring things out. Louisiana Tech has also not run into a wide receiver group with this level of depth and talent all year and things could get very ugly very quickly. Clemson scored on five of their first six possessions against Furman and don't be shocked if that is topped in this matchup. Behind a rocking crowd on a Saturday night, Clemson will look for style points against Louisiana Tech. They should be able to move the ball freely versus the Bulldogs that gave up 558 yards of total offense. The over is 6-0 in Louisiana Tech's last six games as their offense can put up points too. Clemson's defense is not perfect as shown by giving up 384 yards to Furman. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.